Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Bernard. This violin lesson will be on the Perpetual Motion song number nine in the Suzuki Book One series. And this Perpetual Motion is pretty much straight ahead for the bowing. I, I played the original and then I played the variation with the double strokes. Um, I find that for most of my students, neither stroke is very, very difficult. The, the challenge is in the left hand, and I use mainly four, not always, but mostly fourth fingers, for example, at the very beginning. Just leave it all on the A string, and then going ahead. Then we come over. Now here, at the end of the second line, I, I, I have the students play open E to make it easy, easy to get to that third finger. Now, going ahead here, very good exercise, going just two open, three one, and then two, four two, open. Now at this point, this is an interesting spot where we play one, two, three, three. Now as I'm playing that three, three, the second finger is picking up and going over to the A string. The third finger is still down, but the second is already on the A string. It's positioned by the A. C sharp is right next to it. And of course, the second time we don't go to the C sharp, so we don't have to worry about that. So this, uh, that's a very nice little exercise. I also recommend to my students, play it as they, they suggest here also in the book, play it on the D string. Why not play it on the G string? Etc. So that's, that's how we handle the perpetual motion. I like to have my students, those that are capable, to memorize this piece. It's not a difficult piece to memorize. And I've worked with students, helping them to see the form and design. For example, the first line. That line repeats at the very end of the piece. And then you've got this, this, And then that little that little two bar phrase repeats almost verbatim, except for the last two eighth notes, which go to open A. The first time it goes to open E, goes to open A. Then we have this next little two bars, and then we do it again. So it's it it's kind of like it, it you know the it's sort of like a mnemonic where you you learn the first how many four bars then you've got a two bar phrase which repeats almost verbatim not quite except for the last notes then you got two two bar phrases which repeat verbatim and then you play the like the first line again so it's a fun piece to try to memorize and I have had a lot of success with students getting this first piece by memory it's really it's really fun it's fun to practice okay well thank you so much Hope this is helpful for you and have a great day.